Hi, James. You okay? Hi, Dan. Yes, fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm very well, too. Thank you. Right. Well, Dan, what's our uh, topic today? Well, our topic for today, James, is stereotypes. Ah, that's a really interesting one to talk about today. It stereotypes. Is. There's, uh, there's a lot involved with stereotypes, but uh, first of all, well, let, let's start basic, really. Uh, what is a stereotype? What is a stereotype? Yeah, that's the obvious place to start. Well, to me, a stereotype is, it's an assumption, isn't it? It's a generalization about uh, a group of people, for instance. So there are stereotypes about um, members of different nationalities. There are stereotypes if you're a man or a woman. Um, it's any group of people that can be uh, generalized. For example, like if I'm a man, then I must be into football and power tools. And if you know if you're a woman, you must be into shopping. That's a stereotype. Um, or maybe, for example, British stereotypes. I mean, can you think of any? Are there any British stereotypes you can think of, Dan? Oh yes, there are plenty British stereotypes. For example, um, our our manners. Manners. That's a really good example. Yeah. What about our manners could be considered stereotypical, do you think? Well, I've gone from a uh, personal experience. Uh, they say when you when you leave the UK for whatever reason and come back, I I notice that people say sorry a lot. Absolutely. Yes, I've noticed that as well. Yeah. And Even, it's very noticeable when you go to a different country and come home, you think, oh, wow, British people are very polite, aren't they? They're very indirect and very, uh, yeah, they apologise a lot. Yes, especially when it's... It's not their fault or there is no need to apologize in a scenario. For example, when you're walking, you're walking, you're walking down the street and someone's walking in the exact same direction, uh, is walking to your path. You're going to meet. So one, so you either go left or you go right, but the pair of you go the exact same way. And your, your automatic response is to go, oh, sorry. <laughs> That is something I can definitely relate to. Yes, I'd say that's a, certainly a true stereotype. Yeah. So a stereotype, it can be a behavior or uh, morals or beliefs or anything like that. I mean, is there anything else? Like maybe uh, food or traditional clothing or anything like that that maybe oh, yeah, we can think well, of in terms well, of British stereotypes? Well, with food in terms of British stereotypes, I think the key one is is the classic fish and chips. Fish and chips. Yes. The iconic British stereotype. Yes, in wrapped it wrapped in newspaper always seems to be the uh, the stereotype that's uh, that's never left us. Absolutely, yes, yeah. And clothing, I mean, clothing. I'm sure there are, must be stereotypical clothing from around the UK. Oh yeah, well, uh, the clothing for UK, I think, I think from the outside looking in, it'd be the 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 umbrella, the top hat. Oh yes, on the streets of rainy London. Yes. Or maybe Scotland. I mean, there's stereotypical clothing you might find in Scotland of a, a tam shanta hat and a kilt. Yes, quintessential Scottish. Yes, head. absolutely. Again, again not, not, it's like, like you said, it's a, it is a stereotype, but it's also, it's also part of the, their culture. To... It's the traditional national costume. Yeah. yeah. And actually, I think this leads us on to a very interesting point, which is this question of whether stereotypes are true. What's, what would you say about that, Dan? What's your thoughts on that? It really depends. It's a, uh, it's a tricky one because with stereotypes, it, it can get, it can be quite, they can be perceived as offensive. In some yes, cases. that is true. Yeah, I think so. But in others, I'm speaking for me personally, being uh, from from Liverpool, there are there are some nice stereotypes about Liverpool people or scousers, as as we're known as. And I'd say a lot of them are are true. The positive ones, anyway, are, are very. Oh, yeah, of course, yes, are, that goes without saying. I think. Are very true. For uh, example, our, our, our native wit. It's it seems to be uh, a, a thing. If you're from Liverpool, you you have to be funny. And nine times out of ten, it is quite true. That That's I, true. And yeah, I mean, my uh, perception of people from Liverpool is the stereotype maybe stereotypical, like, yes, there's a, a sense of humour and a wit that is native to that city. So, yeah, even I know about that and I'm not from Liverpool. So, yeah, absolutely. The thing I find really interesting about it is that there must be an element of truth. Um, so even though, I mean, not every single person in the UK eats fish and chips every single night, that's certainly not true, but we can say that it, it's a popular dish in the UK. Yes, it's a delicious dish as well. It's, it certainly is. Yeah. So I think for stereotype to exist, there must be a little bit of truth for it 
to be there in the first place. Yes, otherwise it wouldn't have got to a, a stereotype level. So it, Absolutely, it surely yeah. must have happened more than once. Yeah, so maybe British people are generally polite, even though not every single person is polite all the time. So yeah, it's an interesting thing. Like, why do stereotypes happen? Because maybe there's a little bit of truth in them, maybe. Yeah, it's it's odd because everywhere you go, there's there's going to be a stereotype of people, but it's it's never going to be, it's never going to be the the stereotype isn't always going to apply because yes, because people are are always different. No one, yeah. no one sets out to be to to achieve stereotype level of themselves yeah i think there are these individual individualistic truths that every single person is different and then there are these collective generalizations that we can say that maybe yeah that we would call those stereotypes i guess um now here's another interesting question for you dan on the whole do you think they're a good thing or a bad thing are they more of a, a, a positive thing or a negative thing or what can we what can we say the different aspects of them are see automatically when you think of stereotype it it you do lean towards the negative it's not a it's not a positive word but i think i think some stereotypes can be quite fun again being from from liverpool there's a, a famous comedian who had a, a, a comedy sketch about people from liverpool and I'd, 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 in that sketch, it was over the top. It was a comedy sketch, of course it was, but there are some truths in that and some, and something quite adhering about it as well. It, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't perceived in a negative manner. It was always a, always a bit of tongue in cheek, a bit of a wink. And so because the stereotype was accurate, that made it funny. It, it was accurate to, to a degree. Yeah. And it did make it funny, but it wasn't, it was the tone of, of that, I see. of that yeah, sketch yeah, yeah. that made it like the if there was no cruelty or malice behind it. It was yes. just it was it was a little bit of fun and being from Liverpool again with the humour, you can see the funny side of that. Yeah. So I mean, you do find a lot of the time that jokes and humour do involve stereotypes, and when they're accurate, that they can be quite funny, and you know, uh, they can be a good thing. I can potentially see a bit of a negative of that though, Dan. Can you? Oh, most about definitely. Discrimination and bias. I mean, when we planned to have our conversation today, we thought, oh, yeah, we should probably avoid some of the more um, hurtful stereotypes or like some of the things that could be a bit, yeah, a bit negative. So I think they do have the, they do have the potential to be negative, but they can also have the potential to be kind of funny and, and in good humor as well. Yeah, I think it's again, it's 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 like it's like people in general, really, with stereotypes. You you get a mixed bag if, uh, and particularly people using the stereotypes, they can use it to a to a negative effect to uh, to to supply an oversimplified image of of people, or they can do it with 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 a bit of love, a bit of you know, a bit of cheek. But I think on the whole, stereotypes. I think I think they're rather negative, to be honest. Just off personal experience and being around it, it's uh, it's it's never really a good thing to generalize a mass populace. Really, yes, absolutely. So I think, regardless of how we see them in a positive light or a negative light, the one thing that we can definitely say is that they're really interesting to think about and discuss and and talk about whether they're true, whether they're negative or positive. Like there's a lot of, there's a lot to them. They're multidimensional, which I think makes them interesting to think about. It is. I think we could, we could talk about this subject for, for days, to be honest, because it just, it's so intriguing and so, so layered. Indeed. Yeah. I mean, maybe we shouldn't though, because. <laughs> We're not made of time. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. I think that just about kind of wraps up the, the main uh, ideas and the main points though, there. Find your English voice with IQ Global. Go to our website, www.iqbarglobal.com, to find out more.